All right, let's settle this. Paper Pal or Grammarly? You've probably heard about Grammarly. We've even used it. Paper Pal, it's the newer one, mostly famous among students and researchers. But if you're wondering which one's actually better for you, you're not alone. So, in this video, I'm going to compare both of them. And not just features from their websites, but actual stuff that people care about. Grammar checks, plagiarism, outlines, AI features, we're going through it all. And yeah, we're going to be honest about it. Number one, grammar and language editing. Just paste your academic writing into Paper Pal and watch it go beyond simple typos. It gives better phrasing, improves clarity, and even helps you sound more formal. Perfect for research papers and their drafts. Now with Grammarly, you'll also see grammar corrections. But even in its academic mode, the suggestions can sometimes sound too casual or generic. Which is great for daily writing, but not ideal for journals or academic publishing. Verdict Grammarly wins for everyday use, Paper Pal wins for academic writing. Number 2. Outlines and Structuring Grammarly lets you generate outlines using prompts. You type what you want and it makes a structure based on that. Not bad. But PaperPal makes it way easier, especially if you're writing something like a research paper. On PaperPal, just go to the template section, select outlines and select the type of paper you're working on, like a literature review or research paper. It generates a full outline tailored to that format, often following the IMRD structure. No need to type long prompts like Grammarly. With Grammarly, it's all prompt based. You have to tell it what you want which works fine but isn't always research specific and takes more effort. Verdict Paper Pal is a clear winner here because of its ease of use. Number 3 Plagiarism Checker This one's a must have for students and researchers. Both of these tools have a plagiarism checker inbuilt but they work very differently. With Paper Pal, just upload your paper and it gives you a clear similarity report with links to exact sources and a percentage breakdown. It's built to catch even hidden overlaps in academic text. Grammarly's plagiarism tool is solid too. It highlights copied parts and shows web sources. But it's better for detecting blogs or website duplication, not academic overlap. Verdict: This round is a tie. Grammarly covers web content, whereas PaperPal digs deeper to cover academic overlap. Number 4. Chat PDF This is where Grammarly completely misses out because it doesn't even have this feature. With PaperPal, you can upload any paper and ask questions to it directly. Like what is the main conclusion or what are the limitations of this study? It's like having a research assistant built for you. You save dozens of hours by just not reading 20 page papers again and again. Verdict: PaperPal clearly wins here. Number 5. Research and Cite Grammarly doesn't have any tool to help you find research papers or add citations. On PaperPal, click Research and Cite type your topic and it shows you trusted academic sources. And in just one click, you can also add citations in different citation styles directly in your paper. Verdict: Paper Pal wins because Grammarly doesn't have this feature at all. Number 6. Ecosystem and Connectivity One place where Grammarly clearly has an edge is its connectivity across platforms. Whether you're writing an email or a Google Doc, Grammarly is almost always there thanks to its browser extension and third-party integrations. PaperPal is also catching up. Its Google Docs add-on is live and more extensions are already in the pipeline. But for now, Grammarly is still way ahead of PaperPal in this area. If you're someone who writes everywhere, Grammarly's cross-platform integrations might feel more convenient, at least for now. Final verdict, which one's better for you? So here's the deal. If you're writing research papers, journals, or research articles, PaperPal is 100% for you. It saves time, improves quality, and even helps with submission. But if you're writing everyday emails or content, Grammarly is faster, easier, and more convenient. But honestly, if you're a student, researcher, or an academic writer, PaperPal provides you with all the tools you need in one place. But still, try both and compare for yourself. And if you're serious about academic writing, PaperPal might be the perfect upgrade you're looking for. That's why if you want to unlock its full potential, make sure you buy the Prime version. That's all for today. If you found the video useful, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more such videos. And I'll catch you in the next one.